So I wanted to look farther now into this chapter here and Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 21. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, put your burnt offerings unto your sacrifices and eat flesh. Put actually means scrape to multiply your burnt offerings and your sacrifices and eat flesh. In other words, increase the sacrifices all you want. Eat them yourself. They're not going to do you any good. I do not want them. Eat them yourself. I spoke not unto your fathers, nor commanded them in the day that I brought them out of the land of Egypt concerning burnt offerings or sacrifices. A lot of liberal scholars will point to this verse, verse 22, and take that to mean that all the Levitical laws, all the laws in Deuteronomy, the whole Pentateuch didn't exist until after the people were released from Babylon, that they were all just made up by Ezra. But this is not what the verse is saying. If you go back into Exodus and you will find that God did not from the first give them instructions for burnt offerings or sacrifices just as the following verse in Jeremiah says but this one thing I commanded them saying, Obey my voice, and I will be your God, and you will be my people. Walk ye in all the ways that I have commanded you, that it may be well with you. But they hearkened not, nor inclined their ears. They kept following lies and lying words. The first instructions that God gave the people were the Ten Commandments, followed by some other civil laws and laws concerning the Sabbath and the Sabbath years, as we studied when we were looking at Daniel. And then he gave them three feasts, a feast of unleavened bread, a harvest feast or the feast of first fruits and one other feast at the closing of the harvest time. Those three feasts and the laws and they were instructed to build an altar but they were never given instructions from the first about sin sacrifices that came later after they broke God's laws. You recall Moses went up to the mount and they built themselves a golden calf. Right after saying to God, all that thou hast said us, we will do. That's unfortunately exactly what they did. They went and did everything that they were told not to do. And it was at that point that they were told about the sin sacrifices. But those sin sacrifices were for things that were done unintentionally. And in our day now, we see that we are still reaping the whirlwind of this and all the problems that happen 
between Israel and the Palestinians. Why? Because the Zionists that are over there are still trusting in these lying words. They are still not executing proper judgment between a man and his neighbor. They are still oppressing the strangers that live in that land. I know most Christians are convinced that this formation of the state of Israel is a fulfillment of prophecy and that it's going on with God's blessing. Well, if you do a little research, you will find out that that is not so. Right here again in verse 25, I'm sorry, verse 5 and verse 6, Jeremiah said to the people, amend your ways and your doings if you execute judgment between a man and his neighbor and oppress not the stranger and the fatherless and the widow and shed not innocent blood in this place and not walk after other gods that God would cause them to dwell in that land forever. But they didn't do that. When they went back in to Israel in the late 1940s, they purchased a small parcel of land. And then they took their tanks and they forced all of the Palestinians out, bulldozed their houses down, and then said, you can come back as long as you can show us your birth certificates. Where are the birth certificates? They were in the houses that they just bulldozed. You see? The Zionists oppressed the Palestinians. And to this day, that is still going on. And most of the Christians in this country are totally unaware of that. And because of that, they keep supporting the nation of Israel there, thinking that it is God's will that they are there, that it is the fulfillment of prophecies is the reason why they're there, when in actuality it is the Zionists that have taken this land by force, and by force are still holding it, not by the will of God. And this is one of the reasons why we saw our homeland attacked on 9-11. This is why the Palestinians hate our country so much, because they know the truth that I have just told you the truth that Jeremiah was telling these people way back 2,500 years ago. And Israel has still not learned the lesson of this. And the Christians still haven't learned the lesson of this, that you cannot continue to just do whatever you want just because the temple of God was there. Thanks for listening.